I'd be nowhere today without the land of diddly, dumb diddly. Close your eyes and wish just for a second. TV was a lot camper then, and I think it had a profound influence on me. <laughs> I don't even know what sex I am. Saturday, Mark Trevorrow and friends take a trip down memory lane. One day, uh, Squiggle's nose fell off, so I said he'd sneeze too hard. Now they think he was Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Through some of Australia's more defining moments. <laughs> the Way We Were starts 9.30 Saturday. Eddie and Patsy are back in the brand new series of Ab Fab on DVD and video. Hoover! Hoover! You have to turn it on, not just make the noise! And they're ready to party. Oh. I mean, you ought to get someone here who actually burns up bra while it was still on. The brand new series of Ab Fab, including the feature length special gay on DVD and video from ABC Shops, ABC Centres, video retailers, and online. The Colorado River in the Great Depression. The site for Hoover Dam. Fire in the hole! An engineering marvel to rival all others. Well, it's just a dam. But it's a damn big dam. The story of those who lived and died building Hoover Dam. In June and July, one worker dies every two days. The construction of this dam is the best thing that's happened in decades. Seven Wonders of the Industrial World concludes Sunday. I'd spent over half my life with this man. I loved him perhaps more than he even loved himself. He knew when he killed himself that she was going to live the rest of her life, not only maimed, but without her two children. Just knowing how much people cared that I was still alive, I sort of felt almost obliged to keep going for their sake. I, I still th think of how sad it is. Forgiving the Unforgivable. Australian Story, 8 o'clock Monday. Tonight, on the eve of a damning congressional report into the failures of the CIA over Iraq, US Homeland Security Chief Tom Ridge warns of another major terrorist attack. The Venice Film Festival was fabulous this year, and we'll be bringing you the highlights in just a few moments. He defies scientific understanding. Almost beyond. It's, it's, it's not human. A mind unlike any other. He's doing math but he doesn't even know it. A talent almost supernatural. The question is, how is he doing it? A fascinating special, investigating the wonders of the human mind. I can see he was sucking up the words, and he was just putting it in his brain. Catalyst, 8 o'clock tomorrow on ABC. Fridays, we're looking below the surface. I never thought I'd end up here. At eight, this collector's obsession is in the can. This used to be the lounge room, but now it's home to over 3,000 beer cans. My life just is all work and beer. At 8.30, new crimes surface in Midsummer Murders. My guess is that she planned to kill herself. And at 10.05, a new series of a woman's skin-deep obsession. Do you think I've made a mistake with my hair? First the hair, then the partner. Joanna Lumley stars in Sensitive Skin. Take a closer look at Fridays on ABC. It went quite well with Kathleen Turner. It's an assumption, isn't it, that women of a certain age can't be sexy? I disprove that continually. You do. You. And Martin Freeman was very pleasant. Yeah, I was going to say, it's my movie you were in. To but... be fair, I was better than you. You are better than yeah, I was. But what did Melvin say that got Parky hot under the collar? You're an argumentative side of Melvin. <laughs> you're Parkinson, 9.25 Saturday. Winner of nine Emmys. You come to decide which of us shall rule this kingdom. Including best miniseries. I would act for you, for you and you alone. And best actress, Helen Mirren. I will not suffer one more day of your insolence. Elizabeth the First. It is I who rule. Concludes 8.30 Sunday, ABC. There's nothing on telly at the moment. Stand by for more. Are we rocking? Have we got the gig? More great entertainment. Let's have a look, shall we? I just feel like I was sort of going home. Red square, red jacket. Back in the US, back in the US, back in the US. Oh my god, Kim. What? You look like a bit of a fashion beast. Thank you, Sharon. I try. Oh dear, we've got a comedian. Hi, Andrew, Andrew! I come in and I'm invisible. Ooh. 
This is another great American record. That's all we ever played, American record. They didn't find out I was black until 1962. What's that? It's, um, a uh, breast pump. Great. <laughs> it's gonna come in handy if I'm planning on keeping my job. And it's got to be safer than implants. <laughs> more laughs, more fun. Lots more entertainment to come on ABC. My ship will be the largest moving man-made object ever built. Meet some of the most brilliant pioneers of the industrial age and their remarkable feats of engineering. It will become a reality of that, there is no doubt. Seven Wonders of the Industrial World. The BBC's lavish production is now... He hasn't been seen since last night. A missing child. We fear the worst. And the police need fits to be on the ball. I'm not a rational human being. But his playground is other people's minds. Don't you dare tell me you don't feel guilty about that. You're a big bully, aren't you? He's a victim to the end. What kind of a man are you? 9.30 Saturday. If I do survive this, will you let me take you out and get you pissed and make a pathetic attempt to seduce you? Cracker on ABC. It's a P.D. James mystery. Copycat murders. And someone else will end up dead. It was an accident. But who? He had a lover. And why? I have to ask you where you were last night. Adam Dalgleish will find the killer. We're not giving up on this, Adam. You need a challenge. But will he find his heart? Come on. He broke into Monday briefing to talk to her. The Murder Room, 8.30 Sunday. I did feel like I was sort of going home. Back then, McCartney's music was seen as alien propaganda. Red square, red jacket. The concert of a lifetime. It's a great unifying thing, you know, music. Paul McCartney in Red Square, 9.30 Monday. In the fog of war. For telling the truth, I was attacked. In the heat of the campaign. We only broke the story because we had to. Everything is under control. The press reported very well. I found the coverage shameful. But what happens? Where were they when it counted? I don't think Americans have a clear view of how hated we are. When the press and the presidency... Saddam, we have a problem. ...collide. This was a stage for TV fake event. U.S. Media Blues, 9.30 Wednesday. I don't know whether you like doing crosswords, but I'm an addict. Can you believe they've done a documentary about a crossword compiler? That's at the movies in just a few moments. In November, the ABC celebrates 50 years of television. So all next month, we'll be looking back and showing gold moments from the past 50 years as part of our ABC Gold competition. Decide which is your favourite program, then tell us why, in 25 words or less, and you could win a widescreen TV package. For more details, go to abc.net.au forward slash TV forward slash 50 years. It's a big event. This is the third last show for the year. So the answers really matter. Actium. Sauron. Latvia. Gold. Tiberius. Glandring. Twelve. Nine. Second. Zero. Who wants the title most? I am Smarticus. The Einstein Factor. <laughs> 6.30 Sunday. The disappearance of the Beaumont children is the most baffling mystery in Australian criminal history that there were about seven or eight kiddies who had simply disappeared. Mostly he was talking about fishing and hunting. When he talks about those things, he's actually talking about killing. He showed absolutely no remorse at all. I didn't conceal my movement score. My friends, my family and all that knew exactly where I was and what I was doing. The Fisherman, a journey into the mind of a killer. 9.30 tomorrow. We know Parky loves to fire the questions, but what's he like on the receiving end? On Saturday night, Andrew Denton finds out. How do you deal with it when you're not getting on with the guests? You're, you're there, you're there to do the job. He said, will you take my advice? I said, certainly, and he ripped up the questions and said, let's talk. I got depressive and I got, I got uh, bad tempered. And Mary said to me, you know your problem now, don't you? And I said, what? She said, you look incredibly unattractive. Denton meets Parky, a special screening of a classic Enough Rope, 9.30 Saturday. Sunday. It would run from the Atlantic to the Pacific. 
it would have to climb vast mountain ranges across hundreds of miles of desert and prairie. It's not simply tracks for a railroad relay. It would have to bridge canyons a mile wide and chasms a thousand feet deep. An engineering marvel to cross the Wild West. This will be a work of giants. Seven Wonders of the Industrial World, Sunday. Harry Potter is special. And now all five Harry Potter books are available on audio with the first four at very special prices. It's brilliant. The Harry Potter Special Offer Audios. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire are each available in CD sets at ABC Shops, ABC Centres, retailers and online. Hello, I'm Jane Hutchin, the ABC Middle East correspondent. Behind the palace walls, foreign correspondent gets to know the thoroughly modern monarchs. She, the beautiful Palestinian. He, the man never meant to be king. Together they rule Jordan. But is their fast, freewheeling lifestyle what their subjects want? A date with royalty. Foreign correspondent, 9.20 Tuesday. Tonight, Saddam on trial, and as many call for the tyrant's execution, there's a backlash among some Iraqis. I feel very sad. Really? Oh, yes. Because uh, he was great. Good evening, welcome to Late Line, I'm Maxine McHugh. Tonight, the looming election as seen from rural and regional Australia. We'll hear what they're talking about in the bush, from the current round of pork barrelling to just how that's influencing perceptions of the major parties and the latest jabs at Mark Latham. I re represent a pretty rough nut working class area. <laughs> I don't know that would be any lead in your saddle back in North Queensland, <laughs> I'd have to say that. <laughs> Tony Windsor, what would you say about uh, how, how will this go down in New England? Oh, I don't think it would make any difference. The, uh, I don't think the Labor Party are going to win this seat anyway, but I, uh, just broadly, I don't think it would make any difference at all, and in fact it could well be a positive for Latham. Independents, Tony Windsor and Bob Catter later in the program, but first tonight's other headlines. Canvassing the truth, Mark Latham denies involvement in a punch-up 15 years ago and the hard choices facing Indonesians as the nation prepares to vote on who should be in the presidential palace. Three out of five young people suffer irreparable damage due to the activities of irresponsible parents. Their development is hindered. Their future health is compromised. What harm are you inflicting on your young ones? Don't underestimate the dangers of passive listening. I love you daily. I Every love track you daily. is doing them damage. You're a pretty little girl. Good evening, I'm Mike Moore. Welcome to Frontline. For the first time on DVD, the groundbreaking first series of Frontline. You feel strongly about an issue? Make a comment. All right, I will. Great. What's an issue I feel strongly about? This award-winning series takes a hard look behind the scenes of current affairs. Would you be able to cry again? The entire first series of Frontline, available now on DVD from ABC Shops, ABC Centres, video retailers and online. 40 weeks, 81 contestants, only one winner. We are as excited as an electron in a particle accelerator. Australia's aspiring Einsteins. Do you ever think you'd be in a grand final? No way. Take on our intellectual heavyweights. That's right. Who has the brain power to be the champ? Focus and forward to win. In the final round, 
of the Einstein Factor. What are you nuts? The Einstein Factor Grand Final 6:30. This is Sophie and Sky, mother and daughter. Are we We're getting married? married. This is me, I'm Daniel, and this is Jack. We're father and son. Get out of the way! <gasps> Jack, wait! Jack and Lachlan are best mates. <sighs> Sophie and I are husband and wife. Sky and Lachlan are the bride and groom-to-be. Be nice to 